Hi, my name is Megan Taft. I'm a physical therapist with Revolutions in Fitness, and today we're going to be talking about ankle sprains. Um, so this is your foot, uh, and commonly when we sprain our ankle or when we kind of roll it, that's what a lot of people say, I've rolled my ankle before. Um, typically what that means is that you've stretched out uh, a couple different ligaments in the lateral or outside aspect of the ankle. You have a ligament that connects uh, the two lower leg bones, which is the tibia and the fibula. You have a ligament that connects the smaller bone, the fibula, to an ankle bone called the talus. And then lastly, you have uh, one more ligament that connects that smaller leg bone, the fibula, to the calcaneus or the heel bone. So those ligaments are overstretched and depending on the severity of the sprain, um, that kind of dictates as to whether or not there is anything, anything worse going on. Something like say micro tears or eventually maybe even like a complete rupture or tear of that ligament. So in essence, what that means is that your ligaments no longer do what they're supposed to, to do for your ankle, which is stabilize the joint and help to keep you uh, in a good position uh, as far as the joint is concerned. And the other thing that can happen when you roll your ankle to the outside is this inside compartment or medial compartment of the ankle joint right in here gets compressed. So sometimes there can be damage on the inside of that joint uh, between the cartilage that's there. Um, sometimes it could be even as severe as a sustaining a fracture, a compression fracture in that area as well. So that's also something that we have to take in consideration when we sprain our ankles. Now, say you just sprain your ankle, what am I gonna do? The first thing you can start to do is just do some very gentle, active range of motion. Um, so just gently moving your foot up and down, trying to move it in and out, moving it in a circle in both directions. And in essence, you're just trying to keep the joint mobile because as it swells, as you have pain, the likelihood of the joint getting tighter and tighter increases. Um, so you can even prop your leg up above your heart and start to do some range of motion exercises in that uh, position as well. And that can also help facilitate some of the swelling to work out of the area. Uh, and that is your uh, Revolutions in Fitness um, Medical Diagnosis of the Week.